Hello there, it's Pastor Craig. We are on day 11. So we're continuing as we pray daily uh, to be challenged, hopefully, by questions and prayer requests as you uh, present them to God about what it means to be a disciple who makes disciples, to be a person helping people find and follow Jesus. So um, we're reading from 2 Corinthians today, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 11 through 21. And I thought it was important to put this in today just to remind you uh, of who Jesus is, what he has done for you, and how he has made it possible to have a restored relationship with the creator of the universe. Like it's an amazing, amazing thing that I think uh, we don't fully grasp, we don't fully understand. But my, my big focus for today was I wanted you to realize that the gospel is more than just uh, this moment in time where you understand you could be in heaven with Jesus if you will trust him. And if you don't, then you go to hell. There's this, this thought that the gospel is just about that moment. And I think there's much more to it. The gospel is much deeper than that. In fact, it's really, that's one of the blessings of trusting your life to Jesus is an eternity with God. But uh, the deeper truth is that the gospel of Jesus, the, the fact that he came, uh, lived a perfect life, died uh, this gruesome death on a cross, and then rose again, defeating death as we celebrate in Easter, that that made it possible to not just have relationship with God in eternity, but to have relationship with him now, that you can be freed from sin. You can be freed from uh, the bondage of sin, that stuff that it says so easily entangles us. It, it weighs us down. We can experience freedom in Christ uh, in our current life on earth and eternally with God. But all of this is for one purpose, which is to bring glory to God. So I want to challenge you that uh, your job as uh, your purpose of existence as a follower of Christ now is to bring glory to God. Now, um, when you do good things or you give or you serve or you love somebody, um, none of those make God look better. He doesn't need your help for that, right? What you do is you get to bring glory to him when people acknowledge God in you or you bring an awareness of God to others. It brings, uh, one way to think of it is makes his name famous. Bringing glory to God is broadcasting his name so all of creation can see he is real, he is alive, he is living, he is loving, and he is a good God. Um, and he is a God that is worth surrendering your life to. So everything that you do should be a culmination of trying to bring glory to God, to bring fame to his name, that when you, when you love somebody out of the depths of your heart, as the spirit moves in you, uh, it brings glory to God. It brings an awareness to others of who he is and what he uh, has for people and what he desires for people in their lives. So um, that's really our focus of our prayer. So read through 2 Corinthians and remind yourself about this amazing gift of restored relationship that's possible with God through Jesus Christ. Um, and so the first prayer focus is again an opportunity to give thanks today. Uh, it's really thanking God for his forgiveness and for his relationship with believers like hopefully you. Thank him for that relationship. He desires to have just a close walk with you and he can handle the days you're upset and he can handle the days when you're confused, um, but he wants to have that relationship. He's a loving father who desires that. Um, the second prayer I'm gonna give you today, and again, you can go look those up on the website or your app, um, but that pray that your life would bring glory to God in your places of work, where you play, where you learn, where you live. Um, Pray that God would use you to bring fame to his name, to bring glory to himself. Um, man, it's a cool thing when all of a sudden you find yourself in a place where perhaps you're, you're helping somebody in a time of need um, and you're doing it because God is moving, not because you're thinking, well, if I do this, I'll check it off the list of good things that I did but there's just an awareness of God moving through you. So I believe when that's happening, we're bringing glory to him. So uh, as you go into prayer today, lift up uh, again uh, the awareness of who God is, bring fame to his name and give him thanks today.